own property in the surrounding states and have been focused on Indianapolis as a target for years. In general, our deal sourcing process has us sorting through close to 3,000 properties per year to find the handful that we purchase. We know then that what we present to you is the best possible risk-adjusted investment because we are looking day in and day out, year after year on your behalf, to see what the best alternatives are. The seller is an older gentleman that is looking to retire and simplify his lifestyle. This is the exact type of person we like to buy from, as this usually means they are not paying as much attention to an asset, thereby leaving room for improvement in cash flow and operations. The Masia team fully believes in this retail real estate opportunity, and as proof, we are investing over 30% of the total required capital. This amount of equity is two to three times more than what other real estate sponsors typically invest. We would not ask you to invest if we did not have significant skin in the game. We completely align our interests with our investors and only make money when you do and lose when you lose. Masia Development was founded over 10 years ago and our team has over 100 years combined of total real estate experience. Our portfolio of 89 properties is located in 10 states and is worth over $514 million. The property is located in Indianapolis, Indiana, with over 2 million people, which is the largest metro area in the state of Indiana. The area around the property has increased its population by over 9% since the year 2000. Indianapolis is home to many large corporations, including three Fortune 500 companies, Anthem Insurance, Eli Lilly, and Simon Properties. The property is less than two miles away from Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This world-renowned racetrack is home to many annual racing events, including the course of the Indianapolis 500, which is the world's largest single-day event, hosting more than 250,000 attendees. Furthermore, the property is located across from a large shopping center with over 570,000 square feet of retail and anchored by Kroger, Kohl's, and TJ Maxx. Also, Burlington Coat Factory, Five Below, and Ross Dress will be coming to the center later this year. In addition, there is a new $50 million mixed-use development across from Indianapolis Motor Speedway featuring a 126-room Hilton. 90 apartments with restaurants and retail stores are scheduled to break the ground in 2018. We plan to unlock the properties upside through leasing vacant space and purchasing this property as the local area is being redeveloped around us. Rising tides raise all boats without us spending additional money. We also plan to improve the marketability of the property through signage and other cosmetic improvements. Triple net leases allow most costs to be passed through the tenants, insulating us from rising costs. Tenants generally have longer lease terms, which provide stability of cash flow over the years. Consumer spending makes up roughly 70% of the U.S. economy per the St. Louis Fed. A multi-tenant property allows for a diversified income stream, shielding the investor from large swings in cash flow large opportunity to add value by creating a synergistic tenant mix. All of this generally should help to ensure the likelihood of our property retaining its current great tenants, as well as attracting others in the future. The majority of tenants have been at the property for many years and pay below or at market rents. Therefore, there seems to be every indication that they will renew their leases upon expiration. Strong national retailers as tenants, including Sprint, Jimmy John's, and One Main Financial. We have over $200,000 in cash reserves on day one. A large sponsor co-invest. We are purchasing the property below replacement cost. We can have vacancy of over 40% and still break even, which is remarkable. Indiana was recently ranked 15 of all 50 states as the best value.